Hi guys. So I have two of the not roll balls left. It's always good to like put a little bit of flour on your hands before you're touching fresh dough. Um, oh, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my board. In this case, my mat. I used to have a Tupperware one, I've told you. And I liked it, but it wasn't big enough. So I got this one from Timu and I love it. It's big and really inexpensive. So I'm gonna roll this guy out. Okay, put you to the side and cover him back up just to keep him kind of at the same temperature. And whenever I do dough, I like to do this, like almost tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. It's like a little flying saucer kind of. Um, or remember Quisp and Quake cereal? This was the shape of Quisp. <laughs> or if you worked in a lab like I did, like a red blood cell. What do you think? Okay, little red blood cell, <laughs> we're going to do this. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, I don't have much on the rolling pin either. This is pretty nice dough. So, I always get my dough going a little bit. Usually from the, uh, I tap the inside first. I am going to flip this. See how nice this is, huh? I want it in a rectangle. My last one was in a circle. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to be a little gentle at first. Shirley, you're so used to right, to making circles. You're not very good at rectangles. Keep going. All right, I will. Because it's a nut roll, girl. It's not a pie. It's not a pie. Now, you want this even. Think of what's going to go in it, right? And you want the, when it rolls, the layers to be like even, not a big fat layer and a little layer. Okay, go like this, like that. This is 211. I think that's ideal. You see, this one's uh, marked for you. But see, this is thicker over here. So I'm gonna go, you go up, you go down. And I just want it even. You can do that by feel. A little thicker here, a little thicker here. You can go out and up like this. Now, my nut filling, I think the last one I did, it's over there resting. That's gonna be it. That's, that's what I want. Feels real nice. My nut filling, I think, was too thick. And so when I was putting it on, it wanted to almost rip the dough. We can't have that. So I have had that much left and I added a teeny bit more of the evaporated milk. And I'm talking, I was so nervous about it. I put it in a lid and then I dump it a little bit at a time instead of pouring it straight from the jar. Then I separated it because I went about this much on here and about that much on the other one. Okay, we don't want to overfill this. So let me do this and get it going. Take some here, and I'm gonna leave uh, the circumference not with anything on it. See how I have to use this part? Not the, um, I don't wanna just spread it like that. It's not apricot stuff, it's not filling. And when you, I think when you overfill them, the moisture that's in here, I really think is why they crack open. Of course, I rolled my first one, I think a little too big. And that can help too because, I mean help, not help. It might crack open because of that. But I'll, I'm not gonna show you me doing this whole thing. That's kind of boring. But I wanted to get all the little tips in. See, this part was a little thicker up there. So I have to make sure it's even, not like full on the ends too. I'll complete doing this and I'll take a little bit at a time, get all the little baldy, baldy bean spots. I'll work it all the way down. And once I feel good about it, then I'm going to roll it up. Okay. See if I can reach this camera. <laughs> I can't. I gotta go over here. First thing when I need them. Watching a hockey game without me. Okay, I'm back. I rolled half. 
And I think I put too much in the first one because I made it so big. But again, please don't overfill this. Um, I, I really do think that's why they bust open. But we'll see. Okay. So at any end, do I want to do it that way? Or do I want to do a little fat one? I sure like the little swirls. Um, which way do you want to go? This way or that way? I think I better go this way. So you just do this. Do, 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 do. Get it started. You want it tight. Now with your pumpkin roll, when you do this, you don't want it too tight. That's how they crack. And the other thing that I always say about pumpkin rolls cracking is the, uh, whoopsie, see this? I knew it was gonna do it right there too. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that now. Mwah, kiss it. <laughs> I didn't really. Um, I'm gonna go get the cookie sheet. And that might have been a big nut there. That's another reason that you um, want to crunch them up really, really well. Now, I, this is on the seam. Let me get the cookie sheet and I'm gonna transfer it, okay? And then I'll pinch it close. Okay, yeah, because I'm doing this. Now, this is tricky. You have to kind of do it a little bit fast. So I'm going to see where that seam is. There it is. And then, come on, baby. Get on there. There we go. A little bit of a big nut there. And this is how I pinch them close. See that? I lift it. What is on my hand? Oh, I know what was. I was baking something else. It's got a little thing of dirt. Anyway. I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna pinch it in. This dough is nice and soft. Pinch you all the way in and then kind of close it up. Okay? I'll do this end down here. I got a little bit of soot stuff on my hand, so if you see that, it wasn't like that the whole time. And then, oh, I don't have my egg wash. One beaten egg. Well, there's three eggs that go in the dough in the recipe. Don't overdo it, you'll have scrambled eggs. Just really gently, okay? Really gently, you can just barely see the glisten on there. Don't forget the sides. But you can't, so when I um, post that recipe, it does take a fourth egg, but it's for this, okay? So it'll say three eggs in the dough the dough has sour cream in it, a little bit of sour cream. And like that, how's that? Now, do I cut it so it breathes? I think it just makes the dough dry. What do you think? You do you though, you know. Some of you, I'm sure, have been making nut rolls a whole lot longer than I have. And we appreciate any kind of comments and help, helpful hints. And um, that looks really good. Okay, and then we'll be on to the third one. Okay. Okay, he's number two. There we go. Okay, I'm anxious. These are still warm. Wow, this one's really hot. The third one's in. They did not crack. I didn't have to put slits in them. And I tucked in the ends. I suggest using a serrated knife for any kind of bread. I just want to cut this bugger in half and see what the swirl looks like. So I don't think the nut mixture will fall out. I've never done that. Well, we're going to see. <laughs> you know, when you cut an apple pie too fast. I mean, it's pretty darn hot. But let's see. Hey, look at that. Oh, I'm cracking it. I'm the one cracking it. This is a fat one. It looks pretty good, huh? This guy, he's longer. Come on up here. He's still hot too. Oh, he's really hot. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause you know why? I'm not gonna serve it like this anyway. I would serve it half. 
and the oops and the bottom's nice and brown see the dough is tender i don't like it dry i've had very very dry nut rolls and i've paid for them you know but i hope you'll make this this dough's really good is this light like goofy here let me turn this one off I don't know, can you see that swirl better now? Ow! Anyway, there's our nut roll. I'm gonna check the other one.